good morning, everybody from Houston, from Silver Steel Studios. I am in Studio 111 and John is in Studio 108, same facility. In uh, fact, we can, we can yell and hear each other. <laughs> it's uh, July 8, it's a cloudy morning here in Houston. We get a lot of that lately. Oh my God, so much rain. And um, we want to thank you for being here, for watching us, either now live or uh, pre-recorded later on. And um, we are on Zoom, uh, broadcasting from Zoom, which means I can't, we can't really see uh, you in Facebook if you write a comment. But if you do, we will answer you as soon as possible. As soon as the show's over. Yeah. You want to do some housekeeping? Yeah, just uh, just wanted to remind everybody that uh, this is uh, us talking about what we do and, and the art that we create. Everything is for sale, and uh, uh, if you do find a piece that you that you fall in love with, uh, don't don't hesitate to get in touch with us. You can purchase it. We can ship anywhere in the world. Uh, so um, if you don't have to wait until the show if you fall in love with a with a piece of art. So yeah, just. Just to remind everybody that uh, the everything is for sale and it's it's made it. to everything it's that we do it's made to feel you good and um, yeah so again well, let's let's recognize that Ryan just logged in yeah. yay Ryan uh, I should also point out that Ryan is now one of my Punka Marga collectors so thank you for that uh, he purchased a painting this week. And uh, I'm so honored and uh, thrilled that uh, that makes seven out of out of 20 that have sold so far. So. Which uh, we'll see what today brings. 25 <laughs> percent of your show is sold. Oh, a little over, yeah. And of course, once you become a collector of Panca Marga, that that has all kinds of benefits. You not only get my uh, unending gratitude. But uh, and, and hopefully a piece of art that you absolutely love. But that also means that from now on, as the the series progresses over the next 20 years, my Panka Marga collectors get first dibs on all of the subsequent uh, uh, releases in this series. So uh, thank you, Ryan, and, and the others who have bought. Uh, I know, we'll, we'll go through everything uh, in a bit. But um, let's share the screen quickly before we are running out of time. And in today's edition, um, I'm going to show you two pieces of my artwork. Uh, one is a photography, it's a superimposed photography, it's called Heracleon. And the other one, it's a um, ink drawing and uh, archival print, and it's called a blue flower. And John is going to present two more pieces from Panka Marga. One is a uh, uh, mixed media on watercolor paper, which is called Detachment. And the other one, it's a beautiful 30 by 40 canvas called Reflection. Now we kind of uh, change the structure of the show a little just to, to make it more entertaining. And um, I'm we're going to first start with uh, a piece to present to you a piece. And I want to show you and talk about um, Heracleon. This is a photograph. It's a super important photograph. And um, why Heracleon? Well, it's because summer and my mind it's I don't know why, uh, in Crete right now um, on a beach. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, That's a beach, if anyone heard what I heard. Well, don't be mean, John. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the, the, what you see in the pictures is actually uh, a wall that's supposed to, to um, uh, imply that strong fortification built by the Romans. Um, the, the, the floating um, flowers on the water is like, an homage to those who die fighting and protecting the island over time um, and the flowers that have been thrown in the water and of course the waters around the island and uh, by the way i have it right here it's a um, 
let me show it to you. It's a, again, uh, limited edition. I have only 15 prints of this. It's a frame 16 by 20. And I Doesn't it look better in person? I mean, it's beautiful in the slide, but just the, the color of those yeah, flowers. There's, just... there's so much going on in there. You only, you want to you wanna see it. But let me, let me, um, I think I have some slides that show that depth and detail of the picture. Yes, look at that. Mm -hmm. I just love this, this um, superimposed uh, photography. You can tell much more of a story that way, can't you? Right. I mean, there's right. nothing wrong with, there's, there's a certain beauty in, in that kind of photography, mm -hmm. but this way you can actually really, really highlight what you, what you want to share. And um, next is you about detachment, part of yeah, Camarga. One of the pieces I wanted to share today is called uh, Detachment. It is a piece on paper, and I just love working on paper. Uh, just the same kind of media that I use on canvas, when I do it on paper, it takes on a whole different look. And I just love the way it absorbs the paint. It just, it's, it's so luminous uh, on paper. Uh, I wanted to talk about this one in particular because um, what I try to do with this series is I try and think about the the different titles for my pieces uh, as I'm painting. So with the idea of oh. detachment, what's happening? Can you it's, put back on the screen with the, my painting? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. So here, what I wanted to do when I look at the idea and meditate on the idea of detachment, I've got all of these elements that seem to be kind of floating through space. I have my sacred circle that I use all the time, my dots, my, and, and there are levels there. So there, there are things that are kind of hidden underneath the surface. And to me, that represents kind of a, a memory that there's, there's some history here. And that whole purpose of the Panka Marga series, the, this particular iteration of the, uh, the path of, of uh, accumulation is that I'm bringing with me all of that stuff from my life uh, and putting it into these paintings. So that's what I really wanted to share. I think it turned out really well. There's a series of four. One of the four has already sold, uh, but these there are three left on paper. Fantastic. So since you're talking about Panka Marga, I think it's time to remind everybody that tomorrow, Friday, July 9, from six to eight, you're going to have your opening reception. Yay! It's finally here. You know, I, I thought to myself, you know, I thought this day would never come. And that's not true. I, I, I knew this day would come. I just kind of thought we wouldn't be ready. And I think we're ready. I feel very, very confident. I, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, I'm, I'm surprised I'm not freaking out. Uh, but I'm calm because everything's ready. Um, so Panka Marga is, is tomorrow night, the, the unveiling of the first in the, in the series of five exhibitions, uh, The Path of Accumulation. And so from six to eight tomorrow evening here in Texas, uh, Texas time here at Silver Street Studios in Houston, uh, we'll have the main reception. The show started on the first and uh, we'll be up until the 27th. So we're planning a big party. We've got uh, Lots of good eats and good drinks and, and uh, good music. We're going to have a lovely evening tomorrow. I and this will be a way for, for people to actually get right up close to, and hopefully, uh, if they fall in love with a piece, purchase. Uh, now, if you're not able to come tomorrow, we are going to simulcast like this on Zoom and on Facebook Live. So you'll be able to still participate in the evening, if, even if you're not here in Houston and, or just can't make the show. And you're easy to buy there as well. You can just go to my website, johnbishopfineart.com. Everything is there and everything is available for purchase directly from the website as well. So now, I, trying to make it easy. Just a moment, John. I want to remind everybody who is watching via Facebook right now that if you want to participate in tomorrow's uh, live stream, um, you are going to um, like... Uh, browse and like John's page, and that is John Bishop Fine Art on Facebook. Um, the, the stream is going to be there 
and as well as in Zoom. If you got a message from us with a link, you can join us on Zoom. If not, uh, please do search for John Bishop Fine Arts page on, on Facebook. It's going to be live in there. Or contact me and I'll send you the Zoom link if you haven't gotten it already. All right, let's move forward. It's time to uh, do some thank yous, right? Oh, absolutely. Thank you for everybody, you know, who to, that support us, that believe in us, that collect from us, that um, it's here when we need them. And uh, you do have, uh, specifically want to thank those who already purchase um, from Panka Marga, right? Absolutely, my Panka Marga collectors and uh, uh, Bob and Ross Pollard, uh, uh, Bob and Rosa Pollard uh, came in and bought one called Meditation, another one, the one that sold on paper. Uh, they are uh, loved collectors in this community and, and I'm just so honored that they bought another piece of mine. So thank you, Bob and Rosa. And uh, I wonder if they're gonna take my picture now down. Yeah, there's a story there. The last time they bought something from Bodan, they took a piece of my art down to put it in that place because it would look better. So I don't know what happened to my piece of art. So there is a little bit of competition in between. A little bit, a little coming. bit. What I'm going to create next, so I'm going to take John's pictures off the wall. I just want you to know, as far as the competition goes, uh, the last one who sold to them was me. So I'm winning. Uh, we also, again, want to thank Ryan. Ryan purchased uh, Illusion this week. Uh, and hopefully it will bring lots of joy to your life. I know that uh, you have my undying appreciation. Uh, I, I am so, so touched that you that you fell in love with it and that you you took it home. Well, you haven't taken it home yet. You can't take it home till the 27th. Uh, Tommy Calais and uh, Frank Munoz bought uh, par, uh, Paramita, which is, I think, Sanskrit for perfection. And uh, hopefully they're enjoying that one. And because of their relationship with Sandra Derby, they brought her in this uh, last Saturday, wasn't it? And she bought two pieces. She bought both discernment and circumstance. And I thought, I told her, I said, discernment and circumstance. It sounds like a Jane Austen novel, but uh, hopefully she is, uh, she couldn't decide between them. So she bought them both. And I think that's a lovely philosophy, uh, but thank you so much, Sandra. It's great to meet you. and. Uh, Look forward to, to knowing you better. And then our good friends, uh, Kim and Don Harrison, bought two as well, uh, Intention and, and Abandonment. And uh, they are actually uh, out of town right now, but won't be able to make the show tomorrow night. But we do thank them as well. Thank you all very much. Now, if this event, um, the exhibition itself, and the tomorrow show won't be enough for you, well, then um, remember, <laughs> this is a uh, first Saturday, open Saturday at Soya Second Yard Saturday. And at Silver Street Second Studios. Saturday. Second Saturday. And then uh, we will be open again. Um, I'm in Studio 111, John in Studio 108. You can, while here, you can um, see uh, the exhibition Funka Marga again. Mm -hmm. Or you can uh, look on the main gallery for the group exhibition uh, called The Some of Us, where both John and I have some pieces on this show. Absolutely. And that show goes until mid-August. Now, you have a lot of news, but I do have a lot myself you have was, some pretty was, cool news you know yesterday morning i was like i have no news i don't know what i'm gonna talk about well by 10 o'clock yesterday i got a bunch of news one of them came from the archway gallery um they are organizing uh, the jury exhibition and this is the 13th jury exhibition and um, I got the news that this piece, uh, Petal Lines, has been accepted in the show. And I was actually delivered it yesterday afternoon. Now- It's also the piece that uh, Tommy and, and Frank just purchased. Right. So it became a success. 
Um, and that's quite an honor. This this is a hard show to get into, and, and you were in it. You were accepted last year as well. Three three years in a row. Three years in a row. Mm -hmm. And I've been rejected too, so I didn't even apply this year. <laughs> Uh, actually, not, not that I'm hurt. You know, actually, somebody when I when I dropped the artwork yesterday, somebody said, "So, so uh, there's gonna be a winner, so three winners, something like that." Yeah, they have a prize. And, yeah, and they said, "Do you think you're gonna win?" And I said, "I never create things to win anything. I just create them because I like to and because I feel to. Um, mm -hmm. If I win something, great. If not, I'm just the same as usual." Now. By yesterday afternoon, I got another piece of news that I've been accepted with this pieces in a fine fair festival in Guadalajara, Mexico. So um, at the end of August, the last week of August, I have to go to Guadalajara with these uh, pieces. I so have to go. I have to. I have to, John. Such an inconvenience. <laughs> it's time. It's time to go somewhere. <laughs> and uh, not only I have to go, but I'm going to have my own um, assistant and translator. I have to go too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so um, uh, very great news. And uh, yeah, uh, as also well, quite an honor. And as well, uh, the, um, the serious synopsis, the entire serious synopsis would be um, part of the Festival de Fotografia Artistica 2021, this August, September, August, September in uh, Tucumán, Argentina. Now, I think it's your turn to talk a bit, and that's the new vlog we have up on YouTube. Yeah, you're a hard act to follow after all your international acclaim. Um, but yes, we have a... Uh, we have, I've been doing a, a vlog since January and we have been, uh, but because of COVID and things, it was really kind of just like a talking head. Uh, and I think we did a good job with them. But uh, now that things have opened back up, we said, no, what we always wanted to do was get out into the community, get out and, and show people what it's like to be artists, at least the way we are artists and what we do and who we meet along the way and what we learn. And so that's the whole premise of the video series, the vlog series. And so this uh, three, now three weeks ago, we started this new format where it's really, really interactive and uh, hopefully more entertaining. Uh, so this last week, we actually took a road trip to uh, various places. We went to Schulenburg and LaGrange and where else did we go? Round Top, uh, just driving around Texas knowing that this, this week was going to be pretty tough. Um, and uh, so we're working on one again. So this is a weekly vlog. And we took a drone with us this time. And um, uh, if you want to see some fabulous sceneries of uh, Central Texas, Round Top. Like and a whole lot of rain. And out of, yeah, you can um, check this uh, episode of the vlog out. It's very entertaining. And we, we not only... Uh, talk about this trip, but um, the art in general, what, where are we and what we're doing, what kind of other projects we're involved in. Yeah, so wow. I think it's, a, it's, it's a, a labor of love and I'm really, really glad that we're doing it, particularly because both of us are now on the screen where it was just, just me before. Yeah, because I, I always felt like my part is to produce these things and I cannot be one man show basically be in the camera and behind the camera, but I think it's working. So I think it's far. great and it's fun. And um, in between those moments of John's exhibition trips around and whatever we do, I still manage to work on uh, my art projects as well. And I uh, keep going with this uh, um, sculptural photography and I did a uh, little time lapse in here with the last piece I'm working on. It's not completed yet because it takes a lot of time. You know, when you work with paper and um, um, paint, you're going to have to wait a lot to dry because, you know, it's paper and it's going to be ruined so fast. You, you don't just use paper and paint. You use cement uh, and 
and the wire and all kinds of things. These are truly sculptural, yeah. And I just think this this whole series is really fascinating. I think this is going to be your next show. I think you have to get this together uh, because they are they are like nothing else you've ever done. Exactly. Moving forward, I want to introduce to you the second uh, art piece of mine uh, this week, and that is called the Blue Flower, and it's actually a uh, ink drawing uh, done uh, as well on those. Uh, early mornings when I'm waiting for John to get out of the bathroom and get ready for work. And, <laughs> and uh, what I do for art. Yes. And this is a new approach. Yeah. Uh, once I draw, then I'm running it to the printer, uh, creating some geometrical, perfect geometrical uh, shapes, just because our eyes wants to identify some common elements and uh, if you don't catch up the flower then you, you your eyes are going to be drawn to to something that uh, um, they know they they identify with and i have it here let me let me just get off the share screen where is it it's it's not big but it's it's very lovely it's floated very nice and that blue it really makes it pop I mean, it, it looks better on, on, on here than, uh, mm -hmm. or than on the screen. And if you want to, if you want to see detail of it, uh, I do have that as well. And I'd like to show that if you have a second. How long do those take you? Well, it you depends. Know, it, it depends how obviously long. Obviously it depends, it, but. It depends how long it takes you to stay in the shower. Uh, <laughs> And um, yeah, so um, generally it, it could be, you know, two weeks, uh, one week, it could be three days. Um, I do not spend three days in the shower. No. But yeah, okay. So, I mean, these are not, these it are not feels, quickly done. These however, are, to me, it feels like three days, but okay. Yeah, I'd be as wrinkly <laughs> as that flower if I took three, <laughs> three days in the shower. But the, uh, my point was, these are not things you just knock off. These are, these are pretty substantial bits of, of uh, pen, uh, pen and ink drawings. Yes, and again, this is an original. So, um, right. The way the way to purchase this for me, if you if you are um, in love with it, is to contact me um, in any social media channels or uh, come to the studio here in Silver Street Studio Studios One One One. I don't have this yet um, on the website. Because I wanna, I wanna uh, re rearrange everything in the website, and um, it, it takes a little time. Now, okay, I let think... me, before you leave that one, so let yeah. me be clear because I didn't understand this. So you run the original piece of art through the printer? Yes. So I, there I, is no other copy of this. There is no other copy of this. That's amazing. I, I thought you for some I, for some reason I thought you scanned it and then no. added the color. No, I, I, I no. I, this I, one's this is a one of one of one. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. And I have uh, several like this. Of course, different shapes, different ideas. Uh, all um, ink and uh, print. Yeah. I think it's your turn with one of your panka hey. marka. Another of my Panka Margas, uh, this particular one is called Reflection. Uh, there are a series of four larger pieces. These are 30 by 40 inches. And uh, what I found so soothing in this is, again, all that stuff that goes on under the surface, that history, that memory of, of all my past experiences. But there seems to be this, this calmness about this particular piece. Uh, that's why I called it Reflection. Uh, and one of the things I do is, is uh, the thing, one of the things I like so much about this one is that luminous quality that I, I mentioned in the last piece as well. It, it seems to kind of glow underneath. And uh, I find that very, very soothing. These little rectangles that are everywhere, it, to me, those are footsteps. And so in this particular one of reflection, I'm thinking of that kind of meditative process where you meditate while walking. Mm -hmm. And that was what was kind of the theme that was going through 
all four of these pieces. So those, those footsteps are passing through all of this memory, all of this history, uh, and hopefully being calmer, being more reflective in, in looking back at all this, all this past experience. And so I just thought I'd point that out. I was talking to, uh, I guess it was to Sandra, and uh, she, didn't, she didn't make the connection with the footsteps. And I said, oh, I'll, I'll share that on, on Thursday. That is so fair. yeah, I, I, I love the series and, and I, I think these pieces uh, are among the best in the show. Well, this was for today and um, I wanna reinforce to everyone that uh, um, when we invite you to our studios or to our shows, don't feel like we asking you to purchase anything. We Absolutely. just want you to hear, you, uh, we want your input, your want, we want your support um, and your great chats about uh, our art. Yeah, absolutely. Couldn't, couldn't agree more. Well, have a wonderful week. We're going to go and get ready for the party. I have a giant igloo cooler that needs to be filled with ice. A little early for that, but uh, We've got everything, everything ready. I've got my bartender coming. I've got the caterer coming. Uh, I've got people to help with showing the movie and showing uh, and, and uh, doing the Zoom coverage. So it should be quite an event. If you can make it virtually or in person, you should make it. This is, uh, this is gonna be a lovely show. Thank you guys for being here. We'll see you next week or we'll see you tomorrow, tomorrow or, or Saturday. Saturday. Or <laughs> or any day or any day remember we are in the studio uh, uh how do you call that uh, uh, rat studios uh, every day basically Absolutely. have a great week everybody thanks so much bye <laughs>